You know, a lot of people think that ministry is really glamorous. It's really not glamorous. It's a lot of hard work. And you can see I have laundry that I washed here at the church house that I'm getting ready to take home, but I haven't been home since Wednesday. And I'm really wanting to sleep in my own bed. I'm really wanting to get, like open the refrigerator and eat whatever I want to eat out of the refrigerator. You know how you keep things at your home that you really love. But I am right now sitting in my car waiting on my hubs to come out. We're going to go to church and then I'm going to get to go home and I'm very excited about it. So I just wanted to take a minute and just talk to you about dreams and aspirations and how sometimes you can have dreams and you can have aspirations and then when they get there, you don't notice they're there because they look like work. They look like responsibility. They look like something maybe a little bit different than what you thought they would. And I just want to encourage you to take a minute and ask God, is this it, God? And if it is, thank him for it. Because I absolutely love my job. And I don't consider it a job. I consider it a um, a business. Like I'm in business with God. And together we create a space for people to get filled with the Holy Ghost. To be delivered from demonic activity in their life to be able to learn the things they need to learn so that life is not so painful and they can actually enjoy life. And so I just want to tell you that sometimes dreams show up in work clothes and sometimes uh, the greatest answer to prayer looks like this car and feels like you just want to go home and sleep in your own bed. So just keep pushing towards the mark of the high calling because when we see him, the one thing we're going to be responsible for is, did you do what I ask you to do? Did you do what I put you on this earth to do? That's what's going to matter.